Joseph from 5 Minutes Information Channel and this is episode number 55 and in this episode I will talk about the qualitative research method data collection part 3 and we will discuss the observation or observation techniques to collect the data. For the viewer guidance you can get the notes of this video lecture URL link mentioned on this video description. In this episode I will talk about the six main point about the observation or observational technique for the data collection. Number one, what is observation? Number two, what are the types of observ what are the types of observation? Number three, what are the modes of observation or different role of observer? Number four, what are the advantages and disadvantage of the observation? Number five, how does a researcher prepare an observation strategy? And number six, what are the dimension of observation? The point number one, what is observation? Observation is a technique that involves systematically selecting, watching and recording behavior and characteristics of living beings, objects or a phenomena. Point number two, what are the types of observation? There are four main types of observation. Number one, journal observation. Number two, focus observation. Number three, access the unspoken knowledge of the subject. Number four, compare a phenomena. Journal observation may be used as a starting point in to be a familiar with the setting and new context. Focus observation may be used to evaluate whether people are really do what they say they do. Number three, access the unspoken knowledge of a subject that is a subconscious knowledge that they wouldn't able to verbalize an interview setting. Number four, compare a phenomena and it's a specific component in a greater deal with a phenomena. The point number three, what are the mo modes of observation or observer role. There are four main role defined of the observer. Number one, complete observer or silent observer. Number two, observer as a participant. Number three, ob participant as a observer. And number four, complete participant or hidden observer. Complete observer or silent observer. This is a detached observer where researcher is neither seen or nor noticed by the participant and researcher in a silent state. Number two, observer as a participant. In this case, researcher is known and recognized by the participant. In many cases, the participant known the researcher goal of the observer. Number three, participant as a observer. In a participant as an observer, researcher is fully engaged with the participant. He or she is more of a friend or colleague than a neutral a third party. Number four, complete participant. This is fully embedded researcher and almost like a spy. Here the observer is fully engaged with the participant and take part in their activities. Point number four. What are the advantages and disadvantage of the observation? Point number A, easy to administrate. Point number B, they, there are subset a greater accuracy with result. Point C, it is a universally accepted part practice. Point D, it diffuses the situation of unwillingness of respondent to administer a report. Point E, it is a appropriate for certain situation. The disadvantage of the observation and observation technique. Point A. Some phenomena are not open to observation. Point B. It cannot be relied upon. Point C. Bias may arise. Point D. It is expensive to administer. It, its validity cannot be predicted accurately. Point number five. How does a researcher prepare an observation and what are the steps of an observation? Number one, determine the purpose of the observation actively 
as related to overall research objectives. Number two, determine the population to be observed. Number three, consider the accessibility of the population and venues in which you would like to observe them. Point number four, investigate possible site for the participant observation. Point number five, select the site, time of the day and dates and anticipate how long you will collect the participant observation data on each occasion or session. Point number six, decide how field staff will divide it up or pair off to cover all the site most effectively. Point number seven, consider how will you present yourself both in terms of appearance and how will you explain your purpose and other if necessary. Point number eight, plan how and if you will take notes during the participant observation activity. And point number nine, remember to take your field notebooks and a pen to note the activities. Point number six, what are the dimension of observation? Number one, space physically places. Number two, participants, people who involve in observation. Number three, activities, the set of the related acts participants do. Number four, object, the physical things that are present. Number five, time, the sequence that take place over the time. Number six, goal, the things participants are trying to accomplish. Number seven, feelings, the emotion felt and expressed. Here, I conclude the episode number 55. You can, you can get the notes of this video lecture, URL link mentioned on this video description. In next episode, I will talk about the qualitative research data collection documents. So stay tuned with the five minutes information. Don't forget, like, comment and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Till the end.